Hey YouTube, it's iPhone Captain at modmaya.com. Today we're going to be doing the top five free city of tweaks for July the 6th. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one that you see here is called YouTube Essentials. This will allow you to play YouTube in the background while you're doing other things on your device. Maybe you're looking on Facebook. Maybe you just put it in your pocket and walk down the road listening to music or a video. Who knows? I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. If we come into here and we start a video up inside the YouTube application. Okay guys, you see now that it is playing. Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today I'm going to be sharing 10 free tweaks that you can use on the newly released. The first one I'm going to share with you is now you can Hub. put this phone in so your pocket. Play the video without any complications. Okay, guys, YouTube Essentials does have a few settings you can customize. And if you go into the settings menu here, scroll down, and you'll find that it does have a few things you can change. Uh, you can turn on and off the 3G unrestrictor. That will help you if you're on, out on cell tires, things of that nature, and you still want to play YouTube videos, and you can play them over 3G, so that'll keep that going for you. Add disabler, that's gonna be left up to you. Age unrestrictor, background enabler, that's what the big thing about this is. It still enables you to play YouTube videos while the device is locked and you have the option for a white keyboard on and off and that's it guys pretty simple and sweet the second one we're going to look at is called colorful volume and it's free too and this one will allow you to change color of your hud of your volume hud and i was going to show you how it looked in cydia here and as you can see, it's by RyeBread761, and it requires iOS 7. And you see when I turn on my volume, I get a bright red HUD. And you also see that title is different. It says, My New Volume HUD. I actually added that in there myself. So let's go into the Settings menu here, and we'll go into Colorful Volume. And you've got your Enable Disable here. Here's some sliders that you can change the color now when I tap the volume, you see it's a more of a purple color. Now, if you don't want to choose the color yourself and you want the, the tweak to choose it for you, just turn on this randomize each time instead. So now whenever we tap that, we get a different color every time that we turn the volume up or down. So if that's something you think you prefer over having the same color each time, check that out. Here's your custom title. You just simply tap, type in what you want it to say right there. The next one is called Tap the At. And guys, this is going to save you a lot of typing overall. What it does is it allows you to input, it allows you to input your email address. And then each time you tap, you don't really tap, you hold down the at sign, it will actually input the email that you put in place right here under the settings menu there's only two options turn it on and off toggle and then the email that you want to have right there you just tap it in and when you put the tap the hold or the at button down it will put it in its place that's called tap the at the next one is called Hide Newsstand iOS 7.1.x. That's a long title, I know, but guys, how many of us really use the newsstand? I have on occasion used it to read the uh, a, a magazine or something I've got. But anyway, it requires 7.1 or higher, and what it does is it takes the 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 newsstand app and it simply just hides it. I did have it in here, and when I enabled that tweak, it you see, it actually hid the newsstand, and now it's not there. So if we were to uninstall this tweak, it would bring it back, and let me show you that. Okay, now guys, after the respring, you see here's newsstand back right here. Uh, the last one we're gonna look at is called Alpha Badge. 
if you are tired of looking at badges then you need to install alpha badge and I recommend you use it with color badges it just makes it much easier and you get more out of it so first thing you need to do is install alpha badge and you can increase and decrease right here to increase the color it's the alpha they call it but it says changes will not be made until a respring or the badge is drawn again so we'll go in here and I'm going to actually turn it way down and I'm going to respring and we're back now let's see what our badges look like you can see they're just very faint you just can barely see them there that's what the alpha does it makes them lighter or darker if you want to call it that now what we'll do is we'll go back in and respring it again just to see what the alpha looks like okay now let's see now they're much darker they're a bluish looking color and you see the reason why those two are blue is because their icons are blue and it's going to be based on whatever color icon the app is as to what color the badge is so if we had a badge on the Cydia it would be brown if it were on YouTube it would be red and you need to make sure that you are install color badges to go along with this however it will cost you 99 cents and it just allows you to do a lot more with the badges it says right here it says the color the badges will add an outline around the badge and it will also colorize folder badges based on the highest number of the badge inside the folder so keep that in mind color badges works great with most themes and it's compatible with badge customizer which we're using it with alpha badge so remember that Guys, that's five awesome free tweaks this week. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let us know what you think in the comments about these videos. Share this on Facebook and Twitter. Follow modmy.com and keep coming back.